welcome to Imagine More Book Club. Today's book review is written by Debbie Herman and illustrated by Sheila Bailey, and it's called Carla's Sandwich. This is one of my favorite books, mostly because it's about food, but it's about a girl named Carla who's the main character and people in her class, children in her class at school, and she takes these unique, different sandwiches to school every day, something different, like cottage cheese and banana or uh, peas and pretzels or whatever she the combinations that she made the other children think they're disgusting and nasty she thinks they're creative and um, eventually she starts to feel bad about what she's bringing because they're teasing her and in the end she does something that's really kind and changes their mind about how they feel about bringing something different to school so it's a great story about standing your ground being an individual and being unique even though everybody else thinks and does things differently uh, the illustrations are great the faces that the children make when they're talking about what her sandwich looks like and what it may taste like some of the extension activities I've done with kids in my storytelling classes um, you can buy Melissa and Doug sandwich making um, toys pretend play um, there's also wooden sandwich toys you can make, which is great to do kind of a stacking game you can have. You and your child or the children in your class stack different parts of the sandwiches, different fillings, and see how high it can go before it tumbles over. You can create different types of sandwiches and ask them what they would put inside and if they would eat it. Um, pretend play with just food, maybe get the kitchen set up and pretend you're in the kitchen and what you'd be making. This is a great way to introduce children to different types of food. And if you actually wanted to go into your own real kitchen and try a new recipe or maybe do a taste test, a blindfold taste test, that's always fun. And if they could see the difference between maybe a cucumber or and a pickle or um, a banana or different types of apples. Um, so it's great to get your kids in the kitchen trying new foods and experimenting as well. I hope you enjoy this. Please let me know what you've done with this book if you've read it or what you like about the book.